This is why it really looks like a Tesla, like very similar to a Tesla interior. Uh, you know those Teslas that are just clean white like that? Hey, so in this video, we are going to configure a Hill HX50 helicopter. So in tomorrow's video or a video I'm gonna post this weekend, we're gonna go over the actual specifications of this helicopter. And it is an absolutely insane helicopter. Uh, some of the things they're proposing, the timeline, the specifications, the power, if it actually happens, this helicopter is going to be insane. And I'll show you some of the pictures. It is absolutely gorgeous. It is a good looking helicopter. So we're gonna kind of configure this. And honestly, if I were to have like a personal helicopter, one that I would like use for my family or use for my own personal flying, this would be it. Um, I wanna show you guys this video of uh, the Hill HX50. This video is insane. Um, I'll try to not interrupt it, but I might because it's, it's pretty awesome. So let's watch this and then uh, we'll go and design an HX50. Okay, so as we're designing this helicopter, y'all are gonna have to focus on the interior. The interior is gorgeous. It is a helicopter concept that I've never seen before. Oh man, just look at this, it's beautiful. I mean, they really know how to put a video together. I mean, th that is just a gorgeous, uh, that's a gorgeous looking helicopter. But okay, let's uh, let's get to the good part. Let's actually design it. So there's like a configure uh, part of the website. And I love doing this with cars like trucks and stuff, you know, build or Jeeps, you know, build your own Jeep and it's just fun. So we're gonna kind of do this. Um, okay. Build your HX50, create your own color scheme inside and out, and select some refinements and extra features for an enhanced operability. Okay, so here we're looking at the side of the profile view. We've got like a right quartering head view, a tail view, it, man, beautiful. I mean, if you, beautiful. Look at that, look at this inside, guys. Holy cow, the seats, gorgeous seats. Uh, center console, it really looks like like a Range Rover or a Mercedes, uh, just really beautiful, state of the art. Look at that iPad, like an iPad Pro up here. Um, gorgeous there. Oh man, big panoramic windows. It kind of looks like a Tesla, you know with the, the Tesla, they've got those uh, clear um, top moon roofs. Just beautiful. Okay, so let's, uh, we'll go to the side view and let's look at the colors. So Endeavor Red, um, I don't love red for aircraft. I really don't. Forged orange, uh, not a big fan either. British racing green, kind of sick, but I would never buy that for my own helicopter, but I do kind of like the way that looks. Um, royal blue, oh, something about that kind of does look nice. The blue, the blue kind of does it for me a little bit. Mercury, I like that. No, that's kind of like a tan eggshell, eggshell, a little bit brownish, but that is, that's, that's nice. Graphite, clean, super clean. I haven't actually gone through this yet, so this is the first time I'm seeing these colors. Um, super marine white, I do like that. I do like that. Okay, so let's cancel out what I don't like. I don't like red, not that one. I like the orange, but it kind of looks like a little bit too uh, search and rescue-y, like uh, Coast Guard, just for a personal, I, okay, I just don't like it. Green, not for me, but kind of does scream like rich, like like old money, like old person money, I like that. Um, blue, nice. That I think that looks super, okay, so that's definitely in. 
I like the mercury. Ooh. Okay, so I've got my three. Graphite I like, mercury I like, and supermarine white. Ooh, this is tough. All right, let me know down in the comments right now if you agree with what I've selected so far, if you like these three, and uh, which one you would choose. I really wanna know. And if you guys like these, uh, like the British Racing Green, I kinda do like that one, but okay, we gotta decide. Mercury, graphite looks good. This is way tougher than I thought. Supermarine white is good, but um, I do want a little bit of color. So, okay, I'm down to mercury and graphite. This, okay, that's the one. I like mercury. I think that looks good. Let's look at it from the, oh yeah. Let's see what graphite looks like. Graphite's just a little bit too normal. Oh, but that, it's like you look at that and you're like, what color is that? Is that white or is that, is that gray? But yeah, okay, that's the one. So mercury. Um, we're still at 495,000 pounds, which is still at $600,000, man, it's crazy. And I mean, of course there's taxes and registration and, but I mean, that is cheap. I, do, I don't know how they can do that, but okay, let's move on. Oh, the interior is just insane. Insane. So here's your cyclic, allegedly. I don't know. Is that your, that's your center uh, cyclic. I don't really know how that's going to work. I mean, so the collective, the collective's over here, that makes sense, that's up and down, but pitch and roll, I don't know. I, um, in that next video, I, I guess I'll go through YouTube and watch some videos and we'll see how they talk about how that's gonna work, but let's design this. I just, ah, that sky white does look good. So we've got a white and a gray color. Um, I like that. Silk cream, that's nice. Uh, there, there ain't nothing wrong with that. That, look, that looks good. Um, but, so that silk cream really matches the outside color. So I do, I do like that. Oh, satin black. Satin black is gorgeous. But, you know, I, I actually think I do want a little bit of color. Oh my gosh. Alpine frost. Now see, this is, this is why it really looks like a Tesla. Like, very similar to a Tesla interior. Uh, you know those Teslas that are just clean white like that? Like a dream, that's nice. That screams money. That screams Mercedes. Autumn glow, that is ridiculous too. Wow. I, and I like the lighting, like behind this passenger seat, like the lighting looks good. And look at how comfortable these seats look, you know? Armrests on either side interesting and then like bucket seats for everyone and that middle passenger it looks like they've got quite a bit of space because that's the problem with the r66 uh that middle seat is really not a middle seat um the 505 is better it's got more space but man okay let's keep going um i think we're using this view the cyclic is really interesting to me but okay uh cherry wood red Man, that does look nice. That's nice. For a helicopter? I mean, this has to be like one of the most luxurious. Sikorsky S76s are nice. Um, there are some really nice uh, charter transport, but for like personal helicopters? Man, if, if, if Hill can actually produce this aircraft, this is insane. So, uh, English Walnut. That does look really nice too. I am. I did not expect to struggle this hard. Uh, don't like the blue, but the blue kind of does go with uh, the outer color. What's our outer color name? The outer color is Mercury. Okay, I like that. So, but I don't think uh, exterior next. Okay, I don't like. I don't like the regatta blue. Emerald Rebel, cool, but not for me. Okay, so sky white. That. <clears throat> Nice. Silk cream is nice. Don't like satin black. Alpine frost is nice. I think I'd get it'd get a little bit too dirty. I'd have to ask someone with a Tesla what they think about that all white. Okay, but this video is getting kind of long. We got to decide. Autumn glow. So the colors actually, the colorful ones look really good. Ooh, that is kind of nice. That does look good. Oh man. For some reason, I really like the walnut. Oh my goodness. Let me know which, so as we're going through this, I wanna know what you guys think about these two. I don't like the blue. Okay, come on, come on. 
Sky White, I gotta go through them again. Sky White looks good. Let's look at it from this perspective, okay. Wow, that looks good. Those seats look super cool. Mm, I like Sky White more. Okay, so Silk Cream is out. Satin Black is out. Uh, Alpine Frost is kind of in. Mocha Dream. Oh, man. None of them are bad. Really, none of them. Um, Autumn Glow, nice. Cherrywood Red is nice, but nope, I don't think so. English Walnut is also nice, but I don't think so. Okay, so... Now we gotta decide with the outer view. Alpine Frost with that. So here's the thing, like, let's say I was like, if you buy this helicopter, you wanna show off, you're gonna show off to your friends. So you pull up in this and they're like, damn! And then what interior do they really say, damn, to? I think the Alpine Frost might do it actually. They walk in and they're like, damn, this is clean. It is quite clean looking. Mocha Dream. Okay, come on. Uh, I'm going to give myself five seconds. Okay, Alpine Frost. Not black, Silk Cream. Okay. It's either between Alpine Frost, Silk Cream, or Sky White. I can't do Silk Cream. I like that, but I think I do like the black too. Okay, there it is. That's it. Maybe I'm basic, but okay, we're going to sky white there. So we're doing Mercury exterior. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh, does this view show the color too? No way. The outer view. Oh, let me see if that changes my thoughts. That looks good. English walnut. No. No. Okay. Let's see. Sky white. I do kind of like that. No. And that looks good. Okay, no, I'm happy with that. Okay, so we're doing Mercury and Sky White. Yes. I just like the white with a little bit of black accent. That's that's nice. Ooh, this is going to be a fun helicopter to fly. That's beautiful. Okay, so engine. All HX50s are powered by the GT50 engine, releasing the untapped potential of the next generation light helicopter. Okay, 500 shaft horsepower is a ton of power. Um, for a small, light turbine helicopter, I mean, that's that's quite a bit. That's saying something. Okay, so, landing gear. I can do either wheels, like a tricycle landing gear, or I can do skids. Um, that's really interesting. Look at how the green position light changes. So the green position light, uh, it looks like this little, this little light. Um, but it does kind of change with the skids. I'm definitely going with the, the trike, the wheels. I do like that. I think it makes it look more expensive. Um, it would probably be faster, cut down on the parasitic drag. Damn, it is a great looking helicopter. You know, really simple, sharp lines. I, I hope they can do this, because this is insane. Okay, so yeah, definitely, definitely the wheels. Yeah, I like those. Okay, sweet, let's keep going. Okay, that's it. Uh, mer exterior, the Mercury, got it. Interior, Sky White. Turbine engine, base price. So, 495, 495,000 pounds. Damn, dude, that's insane. This is beautiful. All right, so uh, I think w this video is already a little bit too long. Thank you all for going through this with me. I really wanna know what you think. How would you configure this helicopter? What would you do differently? Oh, I'm, I really want to bring that video to y'all. Um, I'm going to film it. Uh, it'll be up this weekend. Show, uh, talking about the specifics of this helicopter, it really is exciting. You know, uh, better than the 505 and a Robinson R66 because it's got those three blades. That's a big safety factor. Turbine, Fenstron tail rotor. It looks really clean. The avionics are just super modern. Um, but you know, Hill is a new company and uh, they want, they've want. they got this really aggressive design. They're building all the parts by themselves. They're not even just picking up a turbine engine off the shelf. I don't even know if you can do that. Uh, they just have their work cut out for them and I hope they can do it. Um, but this is my helicopter. This is pretty much what, if this helicopter comes about, I will probably get one. I don't have the money for it right now, but I would find a way. Um, but if y'all enjoyed this video, uh, smash the like button, um, leave a comment, tell me, th so I guess there's only four things that you can choose from. Uh, the exterior color, 
the interior, and then uh, which landing gear. So leave me a comment down below and tell me, um, and let me know if you agree with my design choices. I will see you guys later. Take care, have a good one.